Hi everyone, it's Jeanette again. We're over at the cover stitch machine now. We're going to cover stitch the elastic down that we had uh, zigzagged on earlier. So, um, my machine, I have a Brother uh, two, 2340 and it has a uh, three needle capacity, but I'm only going to use the right and the middle. Uh, it's a narrow setting. Um, my settings are all at four. Um, and I use um, maxi Glock stretch in the looper, only in the looper, no, not in the needles at all. So, and what I usually start where I started, where I ended the elastic here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to get it as taut on this end right here, uh, and then I'm going to. I don't start right on the seam. I start a little below it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with my scissors on on this plate here I, I don't line it up with the edge of the plate I ed, I line this edge of the fabric with the end of my feeder here and because then I know that's that this needle is going to go on this side of the elastic this needle is going to catch the elastic so that's how I can gauge mine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of start stitches by hand and then we're gonna go and get this all finished and make it look pretty um, just throughout the whole thing make sure your elastic is up against this uh, you know uh, like this you want it tight up against this and always just get it up against this little ledge right there so here we go I'm gonna pull from the back on the, with the thread because uh, Maxi Glock seems to want to burr every once in a while underneath here. Okay, so, and as you, as you do it, you can feel the elastic um, being caught by that one needle. You don't need to be caught by both, just the one. Because um, then your, your other one's going to actually cover the edge. And that's what you want. You want a, a nice covered edge. But every once in a while, it'll get off. <laughs> it does on anything. You can't be perfect on everything, but we try. All right, now I'm going to be coming up on a, the other shoulder seam. And I'll show you how I do that to where it's not bulky. It shouldn't be bulky to begin with, but um, this is how I do it. All right, we got through that. I'm doing the neck, so we'll see here. We'll turn that. I do a lot of leotards, so it's so much easier doing it this way. I think I did for the first couple of months, I, that's all I did was zigzag, but once I found this... Alright, so now we're coming up on the end, and I'll show you how I do that, and I don't have to... I don't have to tie off at the back. So here's the beginning stitches, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those off, and the back. All right, we got rid of those. So now, all right, so now I'm coming up on the end. this flat. Now here's the beginning right here, so we're going to guide it to where it goes right over those stitches. I'm going to go over about four or five stitches, just like that, and that way you don't have to tie off.
And I think on this particular machine, that's what the instructions say, is so you don't have to tie off and stuff. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it, which pulls the two these two threads to the back, and then I'll pull out, and then I'll trim it. And there you go. Can you tell? Here's where I overlapped them here. But here's your edges. That's what you want right there. You want your edge to be over and your zigzag not to be shown. So I hope this helps everybody or somebody and hopefully you'll use it and um, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.